friends, it's Wednesday. Today is the feast of St. Catherine Drexel. So we are going to be learning about her today. So first, we're going to, as always, review our verse of the week about forgiveness. So let's say it together. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Let's whisper it. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Let's try it again. Let's try it loud. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Awesome. Right now, we are going to, next slide, next slide. We're going to learn about Catherine Drexel. And I found these fun facts. It says that Kate, St. Catherine Drexel was born in Philadelphia in 1858. So that means that she is older than Mrs. C. And she's older than Miss Gigi, too, for those of you who want to be funny. She took an avid interest in the well-being of Black and Native Americans. She began by donating money, but soon realized more was necessary. <clears throat> she founded the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament for Black and Native American peoples, dedicating her life and fortune of $20 million dollars to this work. She opened the first mission school for Indians and many others for blacks in the South. She founded Xavier University in New Orleans. I almost got excited. I thought it was maybe Xavier in Cincinnati. Catherine became only the second recognized American born saint in 2000. Now, I'd like for you to pause and to um, watch this video by Bishop Barron. And Bishop Barron um, used to just be a priest. It was just a few years ago that he was named Bishop um, by the Pope. So that is very neat. He has many, many, many videos that he has recorded. He has written many books every day. He sends out to people who subscribe to his email um, a reflection on the gospel of the day. And I've been trying very hard. One of the things I started in Advent was to read that every day. And I try to, on the days that we go to all school mass, after I'm finished praying before Mass, I try to sit down and I try to um, read through that once again, just as part of preparing for Mass. Now, it says to color the picture of St. Catherine Drexel, but today got changed to a virtual day. So we're not going to worry about coloring our picture today. She's going to be in your prayer folder that Someday, when you have extra time or when we're spending quiet time in prayer or reflecting, you can color the picture. And last but not least, of course, listen to our song, Loving and Forgiving. And now we're going to pray the act of contrition in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy, because of thy just punishments, and most of all because they offend thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasions of sin. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And today, our reflection 
and challenge for the day is to share the good news of Jesus with someone else today. Make it happen. And you know what? This is great because you're not in school. You can walk outside and you could share with your neighbors. Or maybe if you go to the store, you can share with someone in the store. Okay. Um, remember, I, I miss you and I love you so much. And I can't wait to see you all again. Some of you tomorrow, the rest of you next week. Um, we're not done with school yet. Make sure you're working hard and you've completed all of your assignments in Seesaw. I love you. Bye.